We're on a hair trigger here. Look, if Iran comes in or Hezbollah comes in, and there have been some exchanges there on the northern border of Israel, on the border of Lebanon, where Hezbollah uh, runs the roost, um, we've seen some exchanges. If Iran gets involved, we're going to find out what Israel has when it comes to really powerful weapons, possibly nuclear weapons, uh, submarine-based, land-based, tactical nuclear weapons. Israel uh, is at a point where they're not going to play games anymore with Iran or Hezbollah or anybody else, and that could pull in the United States, the U.K., other Arab countries in the region. All of these could happen in short order, couldn't they? Yes, it could happen. But the thing that we have to come to understand is the reason why all of this is happening in this final year, if you want to call it that, of the Biden administration is because the enticement of weakness is very uh, savory to our enemies. And what they have seen happen since the debacle in Afghanistan is a weak foreign policy, a national security and a military that's focused on gender dysphoria, DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion, uh, and all of these other things. And, and they know that we are not meeting our recruitment goals. And let me remind everyone that today, uh, 40 years ago, was the day when Hezbollah uh, was responsible, supported by Iran, Iran has admitted that, the killing of 254 Marine soldiers and sailors at the Beirut barracks bombing. And here we are today, and we know that Hamas, who is supported by Iran, is responsible for the deaths of 29 to 30 Americans a couple of weeks ago, and countless Americans who are missing, presumed to be hostages. So we have been in this fight for quite some time, but we have got to start looking at how do we stand up and confront them. We cannot continue to ease the sanctions on Iran so that their oil revenues just continue to expand. And we've got to firmly say to the Islamic world and the jihadist world is that we're no longer going to take this and we're going to back Israel and we're not going to try to constrain them or restrain them in their response.